Hi, this is Crivelli again um, with another video product review and uh, today I wanted to try something slightly different, something which I've never done before and uh, that is reviewing a notebook or doing a notebook video, video review. Um, I have done review of fountain pens and pencils before but I've never done um, a notebook video review but I thought according um, uh, in, in addition to the pictures that will accompany the blog post of this video review of that notebook, I thought it might also be a good idea to do a video review of the notebook itself and show you the notebook because um, I just think that in video there's it's 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 much easier to show things in video than than in pictures and then then write about it and complicate things. So um, let's give this a try um, today um, with um, a nice book by book notebook uh, that I came to like a lot and uh, the notebook is done by a German company uh, called X17 or um, X17 and, and they do um, X17 or X17 they do specialize in yeah innovative notebook solutions so they basically do everything around note taking and writing uh, so it fits the theme of my blog and um, my page so they do a lot of different notebooks um, maybe first of all what is a book by book notebook system or notebook book by book means that um, it's actually not like one one bound notebook like a uh, moleskine that i have here for example um, just like one notebook everything bound together but um, uh, it actually is, and put my coffee aside, it actually is like in that case here, um, one, two, three, four different, four different single notebooks um, that are put together um, in, in one notebook. And uh, so two on each side, and I'll show you that in a bit later. Um, I'll go into detail with that. So um, essentially, those are a little bit similar actually to something that you see often, especially in the international stationery scene, so to speak, which is the Midori Traveler's Notebooks. They are essentially also book by book notebooks. Um, um, it, it's, it's a leather cover and the leather cover comes with uh, a couple of straps. In that case, he has rubber bands. It's quite sturdy and stable. Uh, rubber bands and uh, you can assemble the interior um, of your notebook pretty much any way you want and uh, I'll go into that also in a bit but uh, just said so this might this is basically the system is basically like the Midori Traveler's Notebooks. Um, so here I have the A5 notebook with four notebooks um, uh, done by X17 and uh, the material here is natural leather and the color is cognac. So um, X17 not only does those notebooks, they also do calendars and the themed notebooks such as cooking notebooks and I think hiking notebooks probably, but I'm not entirely sure. They do teachers calendars like there's different uh, inserts and all that. So there's a wide variety of sizes also. Um, I have the A5 here. Um, but they also have um, A6, A4, A7, I guess. And then there's a wide variety of materials as well. Um, so this here is leather. leather, leather. Um, it's uh, it's uh, 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 um, vegetal tanned leather. So all natural, no, no dyeing chemicals or tanning chemicals involved in, in that one here. And uh, um, the way you see it here, the notebook and the rubber band rings and uh, um, the four inserts in different rulings that I'm going to show you in a bit cost around 70 euro. So that's like the, the, the flagship model material wise. Um, but it, it's also available in smooth leather from Italy. I believe that one here is from Belgium or the other way around. I don't know if I got that twisted now. And then there's also a material called uh, Texon, which is a vegan material. So it's not animal related. It's no animal skin. Then there's velour leather, reclaimed leather, and I believe hard skin, which is a polypropylene plastic that then costs uh, only a fraction of the price of that one. So if you choose to get the hard skin plastic polypropylene version, um, you'll pay 25 euro for what I have here. 
Um, so there's probably something for everyone. So um, um, the paper of the notebook, like the inserts that the notebook comes with is like slightly cream. It's not ivory, it's slightly cream. It's not entirely white. I don't know if the camera picks that up, but it's almost white. So for size comparison and color comparison, I have a standard copy paper with me here. Uh, let me fold that to A5 for a second. So that you see, I mean like A4 folded, of course it's A5. Um, so let's do a, a size comparison first of the, of the pages. So you see, it's like, it's, yeah, it's it's not exactly it's it's difficult to compare it here, but like you see, I mean it's not it's not exactly true A5, but almost A5. Um yeah. And um a color comparison. So you see um the color is the, the paper is slightly that the notebook comes with is slightly ivory, is not is not a hard white than um the regular standard copying paper normally is. Um but then also it's not really cream, like moleskin paper is, is really, really cream. So you see moleskin paper here in a comparison, maybe all three. Um, so you see that the moleskin really is, is, is ivory, uh, then that might be a little bit cream and that is a hard white, so as a comparison. And then we can maybe also do a size comparison with that moleskin that I have here. So you see the moleskin um, is, not as wide because, of course, Moleskine is not true A5. The Moleskine notebooks are smaller. So I would say, you could fairly say that this is a true A5 size. So um, that is to the color of the paper. Um, and then when it comes to the inserts, um, that one here comes with what they call notizen mix or notes mix or note noting paper mix. So when you order the notebook, um, when you order the total, the complete package, but of course you, you can also order only the leather wrapping and then order different inserts and assemble it the way you want. But you can also order what I have here, which is the standard note, note mix that has um, one journal in plain paper and uh, the pages are numbered. And the, the the interesting thing or a nice thing is like a little bit, uh, I think it's the Moleskine Volant. I don't think the camera picks that up here. Yeah, it does. You see like the paper has a very, very fine perforation. Each page is perforated. So you can take each single sheet out. You can tear it out. And that is the same with all their inserts. So we have the plain paper insert. Um, then we have a second insert. Um, that is dot grid uh, with half a millimeter um, dot distance, I believe. And uh, you also see that this is also perforated. I don't know if I can show you that. It's always a little bit difficult to get the camera to focus. Mm, yeah, you see it here, the perforation. Very, very, very fine micro perforation, but each page is perforated, so you can take it out. That was dot grid. Then the fourth notebook is lined, also numbered, also micro perforation. Here you see it pretty clear and lines also, I believe, half a millimeter um, a distance uh, in between the lines. And then the last one, uh, which is the one that I personally like least, is the, the square one, um, simply because I find that the squares... Um, I mean, they're too dense. I mean, they're not typically squares are half a millimeter, uh, a half a centimeter. Those ones are 0.25 millimeters. Uh, so only a quarter of a milli uh, of a centimeter apart, um, which then, however, they are not, the squares are not printed in pitch black. It's like sort of a gray, of a gray scale tone, but it makes it appear pretty black. Uh, it's, it's, it becomes too much. So I, I don't know, like it's probably helpful for very, for, for sketching or, but I don't know. I, I don't really like that that much, but it's just a matter of taste. So you see that I've, I've done the right, some writing tests here on that paper. So you see, um, it, it looks on, on that paper here on all the other papers is fine, but that looks slightly weird. I find, um, the, the ink on, on, on those, on this dense grid. So um, I tried with a couple of pens and of course I tried fountain pens because I, I enjoy fountain pens and of course if fountain pens you uh, work, 
then if they don't bleed through or feather or whatever on that paper, then any other pen, if it's not markers like Copic markers or watercolor or whatever that I've not tried here, but you know, any ballpoint or pencil or whatever you use in everyday life will also work on that paper. And I can say that that paper is, um, it's, it's quite nice for fountain pens. It doesn't bring out the best of ink when it comes to sheen and all that kind of stuff. So it, 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 it does, it does show a bit, uh, a, a bit of, of, of ink uh, properties. And just minimal feathering with uh, with this here is a platinum century broad nib with like very ju with pretty juicy writers. You got a little bit of feathering, um, but then with other nibs, this here is a Lamy fine nib, J Herbin Eclat de Saphir, or a Faber Castell Loom fine nib with a Kavit Z ink. Um, the paper behaves extraordinarily well, I have to say. So it doesn't show the the best properties of ink, but um, as you see here, there's all also no bleed through. Um, that is only one pass. Now I, I didn't do like second or third pass swaps, but there's also no bleed through or whatever. There's a little bit of ghosting, um, which of course is normal. Uh, you get that with any notebook, but it's quite quite little ghosting, I would say. So the paper is really nice. I'd say the paper is really nice. That is very very usable. Um, um, this is, by the way, the URL, um, X17, and then there's also X47, like it's two different websites, two different web shops with different products, so you, you can check that out. Um, so these are the four different inserts and um, um, the, the four different rulings, but there are many, many more inserts available. Um, there are different calendars and note note taking things and whatever. There's also indexes, dividers. Then also, as with the Midori Traveler uh, notebooks, you can get plastic pouches in order to put in cards and stickers and whatever. Um, and then you can order those rings here um, if if one gets broke or, or broken or whatever. And you can order those page markers here. Um, in different colors. I just got a black one and uh, the way the page marker is fit in I can maybe also show you that is that you just like Slide it Through one of those rings here um, And then the page marker is in here So you can also use anything else that you have available available that you can stick through that one here And of course you can use more of them um, and uh, uh, that is also the way that you like with a Midori or whatever like how you insert those notebooks um, You just take that lift that ring here and then you just take out the notebook like that And now you're ready it has um, a little gap down here in which the ring fits uh, it snaps in here and on top um, the notebook also the notebooks that you can also they also order they also have that small that small thing here um, which helps to ho hold the notebook a little bit more in place and uh, so this is the way you exchange notebooks they normally when you order them they come in a in a black wrapper but I thought and that's the way how they are meant to be used those notebooks um, uh, or like how, how how you can do it um, you, you have the option to just like tear off that black part and then you have, this is actually not the first page of the notebook, but as you can see here, it's a white cover. Um, so you have the option to use either black or white cover, um, depending on what kind of um, notebook color you've chosen or material, maybe black or white looks better. And I just thought that white looks better, all white looks better in this cognac colored notebook here. I'll show you the notebook a little bit so you see the leather which will most likely become much more beautiful over time when you scratch it a little bit and you throw it into your bag and all that you have the stitchings here looks quite nice but um, I'll take pictures of that and um, put it on the blog as well then on the back side you have very very decent x17 logo uh, uh, embossed here and um, then the notebook um, closes with another one of those O-rings that you just wrap around the notebook like this, right? You see that? And uh, so th this is the only thing that I don't really like about the notebook when I, when I close it like that. So it does close very securely. There's no problem. It doesn't open, but 
you know, it, it does something like th that here uh, to those rubber bands. So I always have to try to, you know, I'm, I don't know, I, I like my things very neat. So that is something, you know, that look here is something that, I don't know, it, it's not that pleasant to the eye, to me personally. But of course, um, it has nothing to do with the functionality of the notebook. It's, of course, perfectly functional. So there's no problem with that. Um, and um, then maybe, so of course you can exchange the inserts and whatever, and maybe one last note when it comes to exchanging inserts, you are, of course, you don't, I mean, like I tried that, you, you, you can use, of course, the, the X17 inserts, but if you are, if you like the notebook, um, and you can, as I said, get only the, uh, the leather wrap or plastic wrap or whatever, vegan material wrap or something like that and then you can get it with like i think one two three and four rings so there are different ring options available also back widths of the notebook and so if you like that but you don't like the paper or you want something else you want to use something else of course you can just print out any paper that you find on the internet and since it's true a5 like now this since it's just a single paper that might now crack I, i'll try just to show you what i mean you can of course print out anything and bind that together for yourself you just fold a stack of paper and um yeah it it, it, it works probably better because uh, when you when you have more papers maybe you need to make a small cut here and here but of course you can print out anything like i don't know gray sheets or whatever sketching paper or whatever you might want to use and um, you can put it into that notebook and then one last thing that you could also do and that is something that i do because like i like um leuchtturm paper because that is now really fountain pen friendly and um so you see the little bit i did it here and here so you can just take any leuchtturm notebook for example this is a uh, a5 jot book and uh, you can also put that into that notebook here um now this is true a5 the notebook itself is not true a5 it's a tiny bit smaller right but it works when i close the notebook it doesn't stick out it's perfect i can use any paper that i want and uh, now moleskine's paper is not very um not very well known for being fountain pen friendly but the moleskine kahirs for example they are even smaller so um if you like those for i don't know whichever reason you could of course also use these ones uh maybe in addition or mixed up with x17 inserts that you might like they have some quite interesting time tracking inserts and teachers inserts and whatever um, so you can basically, in um, in in combination with some uh, pouches that you can uh, slide into those uh, the rubber rings here, you can really customize the notebook um, the way you want. So um, that was it with the X17 Cognac A5 book by book notebook. Um, I hope that review was helpful for you, um, to you, and I'll see you with the next review. Bye bye.